Welcome back everyone to Let's Play High Fleet Custom Campaign Episode Number 10. Alright, we're going to take Tushan. We'll get our first save game going. In the meantime, our big capital fleet is, is moving to one of the hidden people. We haven't gotten that far. <laughs> I guess we have. We're bypassing this hidden people and going to the next one. So we're at the stage two, the you know tier two hidden people. And then after this we'll go to the tier three. Um, I don't know, we probably won't hit any of the fuel spots in between because they're all a little bit out of the way. Haran being the backtrack. Shetha is a little bit beyond it, so we could probably go there with just enough fuel to get to Shetha. Um, we will get joined here by another fuel tanker, which is the fuel tanker that used to be part of the lightning group, but lightning has been going off on our own. We have one rescue going on at Tushan, so like I said, that's our save game. Just let these guys come come in, and yeah, we'll do that. Um, I think we'll just move over to Gazem, and then go to Kuwa, and then Baram. So we don't know, we have no idea where this transport, by the way, is. I, I, I kind of highly doubt that they're still making their way there, but hey, nine hours, in nine hours they're probably at Baram, and that would mean that they are headed directly to... Oh no, they have to go to Kua. So if they are heading this way, we should intercept them in between, you know, Gazam and Baram, since we'll be doing the uh, the reciprocal route. Okay, well I don't think there's anything else we need to ha and hum about. Here we go. Rescue operations. Yeah, this is really interesting, and I have to say I really want the hex turtle to go after him. I don't think we're going to... Oh, well, let's wait. I... Everyone who lands there, I think, gets morale, so I think I will wait for the hex turtle to pick up the extra morale. It's basically like a slingshot, the morale momentum, if you will, <laughs> off to the northeast. Oh, need a new rescue. Okay, yeah, so we did the... I think we put on the hazard stuff, you know, prepared our crews with the proper equipment, so now we can do D80, search for survivors, fuel, and ammunition. It would also be good to start picking up the radio stuff for the next one, because eventually they will change the encryption, but okay, for my money, this is just a no-brainer. There might be something more interesting for us to watch, but... Maybe not. Okay, so we'll get a pause here. Search for survivors. We might be able to do search for survivors and then radio room. I'm not sure how how low we're going to be. We have plenty of repair, repair parts, which is not, not an issue at all for this group. And it looks like we are going to need to make some repairs. So let's search for survivors. And then probably fuel tank. Oh, they merged. Somebody merged. This group is still not there yet. Why are they moving so slow? Oh, they're not moving that slow. They're just... The tanker's the slowest one. It's still 300 there. Okay, we got the rescue. So, yeah, this is the only interesting thing. Oh, yeah. Fuel tanks will not make it. So we're going to have to do that next. And then... I kind of doubt there'll be anything open but ammunition. And we'll have to take the ammunition anyway because we've already learned from our mistakes that hey, if you don't choose the ammunition that goes off, it blows up whatever you're working on anyway. Ah, you've landed. Okay, so that's what this was. Uh, let's look for the strike groups. Oh, okay. Now, Tegrak is not telling us exactly where they're going, but I think it's because they're going... Oh my gosh. Are they going for the hidden people? Well, they don't know we're there, so they're just... I mean, this could, this could be crazy. Let's do a trade group, by the way. So that's Redon, so it's not Merlin. Um, I think we should send Hex Turtle as soon as it lands. So speed of 91. And they have repairs to make. What the heck happened? Okay, I, I need to track them. Ninety-one. Why do they have repairs to make? That's something's funny about that. 
they are heading this way, which just doesn't make any sense. I'm assuming that they're just not going to move directly down the lane, that maybe they're spanning, spreading out a little bit and then going back to Jabok. So let's just assume that this will be their final destination, even though it's not clear exactly if that's the case. 1327 at a speed of 91. Oh, it's not quite, but it's almost exactly 15 hours, just slightly under it, because we know 450 is half of 900. 900 is 10, so it's 910 plus 455. You know, it's slightly under that, right? Because it'd be 1360 or so, 65, I guess. Uh, but it's 1327, so just under, and let me write this down, 15 hours. So let's say 15, let's just say 15 hours. Okay, good. So 15 hours we have to be there. There's almost no way we will, but we do have the teeny turtle who can go with the hex turtle. They're gonna take all the fuel from the hidden people and I think we're gonna go ahead and, this is obviously a fantastic situation for the hex turtle, I mean for the um, carrier or the strategic stripe groups to get involved, but It is, though, it is. Could the lightning take out these people? 30.5, I just don't understand why 30.5. It's like some kind of mystery to me. What does it mean? What does it all mean? All right, well, they made this very simple for us. We only have one option here. So yeah, you need to land as quickly as possible and then we'll, we'll proceed. Continue. And this this next one will not. I don't even know if it'll pause when this is done. It might. It does. Okay. Um, so we actually do want to land now, which will be our save game. And it's the perfect time to save it, <laughs> right before we do the strike group. Oh, I think you have some damage. It doesn't say you have damage, but they're probably being uh, generous or you know not wanting to replace parts that should be, in my opinion, replaced. Let's go over for that 70. I almost went for the 17, and you know, I'm, who's to say that isn't the better choice? Just because it's easier, and if I take damage here, you know, it's probably would have been better for me not to have taken damage, even if I repair a little bit slower. Why did I take damage? Ah, it just seemed like a perfect landing. Okay, the Sword of Damocles, that's right, as we get some nukes out of this. Um, near the city, we discovered a smooth level to platform dotted with low concrete domes, each top with a heavy steel lid. It took us a while to pry one of them open. Inside, we found a wide, deep shaft, and in the very center of it, we discovered the smooth white nose of a missile. White nose with red tip. I duke. Those are the these are those are the nuclear weapons of the gathering. We must extract them at once. So the gathering again, just a reminder for myself, <laughs> is the rebellion. It seems our nu enemy's nuclear arsenal is far larger than we had expected. The admiral casts a grim glance at the launch silos. Get these missiles out of, our, get these missiles out of the launch bays and onto our ships, Pyotr Ignatyevich. Got one fifteen N, two fifteen P Ns, a hundred N, two more hundred Ns. Okay, not. I might even sell those hundred Ns. I don't think they're all that useful. They're basically like tactical nukes. But yeah, so this should save our game as well. That's the that's the good news. Uh, we have a huge range. My goodness, why is our range so large? I don't know. Do we have like two? Do we? Is it possible we have two fuel tankers here? Oh, it's a lightning group. Okay, so the lightning groups are pretty efficient. Yeah. Okay. So, repair this way. I'm gonna do the repair there, but come on, I'm not. I'm not a dummy. There was some damage. Am I crazy? We'll repair that one too. 
Yeah, definitely repair that engine and that. And that. That I, I pretty sure I damaged that on the landing. What a bummer. 94, worth repairing. 92, worth repairing. Okay, good enough. That's uh, enough repairs to keep me happy. And let's see what they have here. What I have here as well. Looks like we haven't picked up any garbage stuff yet. So nothing to sell, essentially. Mm, how's our supplies of 100 and 130 armor piercing? Pretty good. I will definitely go through probably like the entirety of this if I fight a strike group, but it's good for where I am at right now. Probably bump this up. Uh, I don't think I need this much actually, but 130 I would actually prefer. 130, we don't have it. I think they're in the same spot every time, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't think, I'm sure. It's like, if I know where the 130 millimeter prox fuse is, and I think it's right here, and I just need to look for it being there. Well, I guess I get a little bit more. It's just the problem with having this money is it just burns a hole in your pocket. Okay, good, good enough. Ship repairs done, everything done, and hooray! Game saved. Not that I ever do that, but in theory we could. Okay, so that's Shazam and Kua, and then maybe in, if we're lucky, we intercept a transport and all that. But more importantly, we have a little bit of business going on with these hidden people. Okay, they've merged. We will. Well, it looks like the X-Turtle needs repairs. Boy, the teeny turtle took a little bit of damage. Okay, well, no, no, we don't need to land the teeny turtle. Plus, it doesn't have any landing gear. <laughs> Landing on the side. I mean, there's. It's. It would be fine to land. It's just not ideal. It will take some damage, and I think we'd rather just stay up in the air and repair there. I'm actually looking at this and saying we probably can't land in that 44. Our legs are too wide out. So we're just gonna take these two instead. Damage. Okay, it didn't show damage, but I might have damaged us there. Oh, the hidden people! The city welcomes you with open arms. The Doyen promises to help your squadron in any way he can. No one fears the gathering here, and everyone wishes for your endeavor to succeed. Morale plus two. And eight five. Oh my gosh. That's way better. Don't give us stupid pumps. Even those R9s are not useful to me. We'll probably just sell the Fab 1000s. I don't, I don't even think I have anything which can equip these. Yep, just get out of here. Um, yeah, these are probably useless as well. This is the only thing which I find nice to have. So what's our D80 situation now? We have three. You gotta be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. I can't, I can't fix them because I, <laughs> no. We're one short. Hmm. Bummer. Well, say la vie. Um, we'll just have to take on a strike group with the AK-100s and lots... And, and basically, I think this is the last time we'll be using the AK-100, so we'll just use all of our <laughs> armor piercing. The thing is, it's almost a debatable whether you use 100mm procs. It's very useful. Okay, so we, we need some fuel. Yeah, we'll just completely refuel. And I'm gonna role play, you know, if it's a little bit extra fuel and we spent a little bit more than we needed to because we could have gone and gotten it cheaper somewhere else. I'm gonna role play that we're just happy to spend that a little bit of extra money to fuel the economy of the hidden people. Which makes sense as a story to me. Maybe not to you. So lightning or hex turtle, what's your Oh, I didn't repair you. I know you need repairs. It says so. Okay, repair that. Is that just damage that I caused landing? No, here we go. 82. 82. Huh, it's weird that it was symmetric. Gotta make sure the engines are intact. We've already had 
one incident. Isn't that enough? Let's quickly scan the armor. Very hard to, to actually go down these diagonals. If I'm missing one, I'm sorry, but you know, it's just hard to get all of them. Okay, I think we're good here. So, 0.8 hours, that's not bad. That'll be done pretty quickly, which means in 0.8 hours I have to make my final decision, unfortunately, <laughs> about what we're doing about this strike group versus that one. And you're still sitting in Kevrath, but honestly, we should start getting more intel. Um, okay, let me erase some of these things, which are obviously no longer relevant. Tell one isn't really going to cut it. I guess we just go to the hidden people as well. It's kind of a lot of tiny turtles over there. I wonder if instead we just move up to this hidden people. It's a little bit of extra... You know what? I think I'm actually going to move over here. I have a great idea. Why didn't I think of this before? We can shadow this fleet. These tiny turtles are like impossible to see on radar. So we can go over here. I think we'll get there pretty quickly. It's almost at the edge of their range though, so... Is there a place you can stop and refuel? Well, you can refuel here. And I don't mind just, you know, let's just top up. Oh no. Probably cost me less than 100. Now that actually adds up. I mean, it's really important to, <laughs> to be careful about that. But in this case, not so bad. And now we can go anywhere over here and easily get to another location. So if they were to go this way, Here's the question. If we park here, we'll be 250 away. So this is exactly where I want to park. Which put us at least 250, 260 away. And this is 62 degrees. I'm going to leave that up just in case I end up tracking something like that. At 62 degrees, I'll have a good idea that they didn't, they actually stayed on this course. So go and park right here. You'll be there in 1.7 hours. They are going to be there in, yeah, 12 hours. So we have plenty of time. This is awesome. I love it. I love this little intel gathering aspect of this game. It really does remind me a lot of Command Modern Operations, a game which I ought to get more into, but, you know, just haven't. But lately, I've been really, I've been thinking about that a lot, how I, I really regret not learning how to play that. It's not like it's too late. You can just learn it, but... It's also kind of a difficult game to pick up. I played. I actually know how to play it. I've played a few of the smaller scenarios, even like the tutorial air mission ones. It's just that once you actually get, it's one of those games where it like is amazing sounding and like all these things, but then when you actually start playing it, you're like, oh my gosh, this is so much micromanagement, even for me. All right, so we're getting fuel here. The hex turtle has got to make a a move if it's going to but I have to say I think we're gonna go after this is it nonsense to go after this aircraft group so in my opinion it would be cool to go after them because if we get a I think it'll actually be more difficult for our aircraft to attack as we would have to use nukes of some kind and there should be just a ton of salvage if we do it. So let's let's just go. I'm going to do this. We are going to commit to dismantling this strike group with probably aircraft. And we're going to commit to attacking the other group with my hex turtle, which will be its greatest challenge yet. There's no, de no debating that. Um, you guys need more fuel. You don't have enough fuel. Okay. Right click to get out of that. <laughs> so even if we take all the fuel, it's not enough to get there right now. Fine. We'll wait. We'll wait a little bit longer. I'm a little surprised about that, but I guess shows this is the whole range for everyone. Are you saying that the hex turtle is so inefficient that it's basically the same? <laughs> even if you take off some people? Inconceivable. But waiting here for fuel and waiting there for fuel should be the same thing anyway. So I think we will actually go just a teeny bit more forward. And then go ahead and land. So 
So you have thermals, but no elint. So we only have thermals there. But the thermals are good for what? 300? I hope. Tanky. Tanky, teeny, hexy. Yes, it is a little bit more. We'll take all the fuel just so we don't have to refuel as much. Oh, we're unpaused, okay? Didn't know that. And we'll go to air do. Ah, uh, this group is quickly gaining fuel. I probably could take out this group with my lightning. And, you know, part of me is thinking, like, well, what are you going to use the lightning for if not for doing these attacks? But, because the aircraft are going to be much more important later. Ah, but that's, uh, that's kind of, that's only kind of true. All right, this group is done, so let's go make our move over to Gazim and just remember to separate the lightning early enough. I think we're in one of those actual unique situations where I can hit shift for a little bit. Not not very much. What was the right, morale nine? That's that's really great. Obviously, it's, it's really good. All right, let's get these guys to break off, just so my lightning can get there a little bit faster. Okay, that's good. And there is no alarm right now. I'm sure that'll change soon, but for now, we are actually sitting in a good situation. I should move a little bit closer. I hate to move. I've already committed. What I could do instead is actually put like little probes. We have a teeny here who can just take, well, as much fuel as possible, I guess, and then go sit over here. And then we'll really know where they are. I'm trying to basically, because I didn't measure this, I do like, that much should be like 260 away from there, so it should be impossible for them to get by. Let's do that. Okay, let's do it. We're doing it. We're setting up our little trap. That thing is blasting off. It's actually... Warning, radar emission detected. Who? Who? Ah! Well, this is... We're gonna get our fighter after all. The strike group is coming this way. Now, this is horrible because... This means the aircraft group is gonna launch attacks at us once we've attacked the strike group. Now, I can get around this a little bit with our teeny turtle, but this is not ideal. They're gonna like launch missiles at us too. It's like there's a lot of. Well, we jumped up from one to three very, very quickly. Alright, I haven't played this, you know, so here we go. Good luck to me. Oh, man. I think that they would manage to at least get their own stuff. Oh no, not that stuff. The enemy has been destroyed. Ah. Oh no, we got hit! Is it worth restarting? I don't think so, not yet. Take a look at the damage on the left. Okay, so they blew off a, some of our parts, but yeah, now we just need to wait a little bit of time. I mean, I don't know. I don't need to wait time. Just need to look at the damage. Okay, so if I see this correctly, it looks like this is gone. This is gone. The engines are there. 
A fuel tank blew up because we lit that on fire. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. It wouldn't be that big of a deal for me to retry, but yeah, it's fine. Ooh, repairs is probably the best option here. These are the three least important all lined up. But we're probably down to the three least important at level six. So yeah, we'll take repair speed. Um, D80, very important. We can get, okay, so we should probably do the ammunition, fuel, and then D80 if we can do it like that. Yeah. Okay, let's do it that way. So, gotta go back over here. We have an Elint. Holy crap, are they in the city? Alright, we need to dispatch the Teeny to go investigate. That's partly her role. Thank goodness we waited 60. So, I think five happens around 500. Yeah, they're coming down. They're probably right here. So let's send the teeny over to welcome them with enough intel or enough whatever to, to get back as well. Okay. Yeah, go. Morning. Radar emission detected. Okay, that's not, that's the, ah, very cool. And at 240. So probably right here, we'll let that one go. This is only Elan 4? This one says Elan, it went down to 4 though. Oh good, good, good. Oh good. We good. Oh goody, we found them. <laughs> Thermal signature detected. Okay. Now we have to be a little bit careful here. This is a little bit weird. We need to be able to actually avoid these. I mean, run actually back towards our fellow group over here if these are not locking onto us. And they might not be. Attention. So let's turn around and make sure that they are going towards us. Oh my god, they aren't. This is so cool! We have to do some, some serious dancing. Okay. So you guys, break left. Break left. Okay, we have some... Uh, somebody's trying to do a repair or rescue, and this, this is a very heated situation. Do you not understand? So click, pause... Back to the meat of the matter. Um, you have no destination. That's fine. Just you're already breaking down. Okay, good. And you're at Eland Four. They're at 270, so they're already close. Which means, we, oh man, this is actually getting confusing. So we need to send out some strikes as well. Or do we do uh, nuclear? Not nuclear. We don't want to start the nukes. But we could do non-nuclear strategic or. You know, essentially just normal ballistic missiles. This is fun. Definitely have some options here. I mean, we do have a lot of missiles, too. Wow, we have a lot of missiles. Okay, this is Elint as well which we may not always have. So I think what we'll do is we will launch. You have, you're at Elon 3, 270. It's gonna be very easy to get this wrong. They must be going to Ugarit. Elon 3 is just so small. Missiles. Okay, they've they've acquired. We don't need to get intercepted. We could just avoid them. 
But I'm gonna get intercepted. Oh. Attention. Visual contact. We avoided it. Wow, we avoided one of them. Ready and go! <laughs> oh, did that hit? I can never tell. <laughs> oh, looks pretty undamaged. Oh, this is crazy, because we have the missile behind us, which we dodged somehow by some miracle. By the way, go back over here, because we do need you to refuel. And then you just, let's go find them. We actually have them on the scope. Zero, four, five. Ish. Yeah, you gotta pause. We have other things going on. Yeah, you are only Elin 3 at 270. Okay, so I think the smart thing for us to do is to reposition you so that we have eyes on Ugarit, which is now... It's a rep repair place as well. And I can't remember exactly what the range on thermals is, which is very frustrating. Let me just check. Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, sorry. Tiny turtles here. Oh, gosh, we can't land there because... <laughs> right. We can't land there because we haven't landed there yet, and then the morale bonus, and does that really matter? I don't know, but I'm just too much of a... I, I just, I'm not stopping to think about it to verify if it's completely okay. All our other ones are actually out and about. Like, this one can get there very quickly, but I will have to tell the teeny to look off. I think it's 300, though. I'm pretty sure it's 300. So let's just assume that it's 300. So 200 would be plenty close enough. They're getting this reading, so I think we move right here. I don't think we'll be detected at that range, by the way. And park. Okay, we got visual. We have visual. Wow, this is this is close. How much? Uh, you know, I think the answer is at this point that we have to go in. Okay, so you're gonna go. This is gonna be a little bit weird. You're gonna go here of all places. You're gonna go there very slowly. You are going to go here as well, but. Hex Turtle is going to detach with 100% to pursue. Yeah, like so. This is a goofy little thing that we got going on. Oh, we could search the radio room. There's almost enough, I think there is enough actually for us to search the radio room and get this D80. Oh, it's so close. I'm going to try it though. Radio room is not a bad choice, I and mean, eventually I want to know. Okay, no destination, and you have or do not have thermals. Not picking up anything yet. And that would be so let's go a little bit further north. Here we go. This will be the, the finale to the episode. Is this strike group attack? Oh, no, 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 no. My dear friend, I'm so sorry. You don't have enough fuel. Okay, actually, you do just keep landing. That's fine. Because we actually need to refuel you. This is bizarre. What we need to do is refuel you. And get you back up into the air so you can distract aircraft while we rescue people, essentially. Alright, here we go. This is this is going to be brutal. We will definitely use armor piercing. Morale of 8. Morale of 8. Duly noted. I thought this one had morale of 9, but that's fine. Okay. Oh, 
well, yeah, just kill your own stuff. That's completely okay with me. Wow. Brutal. Open. Damn it, I was looking at the wrong thing. Oh boy, this is really not good. This is probably then. I think I don't even like the armor piercing. I think I should go with um, the other one. Yeah, because of our dinner. Let's just restart this. This one's not going to work. Okay, let's go with uh, proximity instead. I'm not going to load it though. I'm actually going to unload it. Oh, hello, they're below me. What the hell is that? Ah, oh, it must be armor piercing. The fuel system is burning. Oh my god! <laughs> is it because I don't have any... Maybe we can be okay. Unlikely. Just gonna get practicing. Just gotta have. What's our morale at? This is very unlikely to be the run that we succeed. In. Yeah, man, they are way. It is way harder to take on enemies. We'll retry this one. <laughs> I have selected the wrong option there. All right, we are down to only like three more tries. This is getting desperate, believe it or not. Oh, they switched. We gotta hover close to somebody. I think we just gotta go like right next to this guy and just try to do decoy work. Let them hit each other. Alright, this is working a lot better. Oh god. Oh, they went for it. Thank god. Oh, this is working a lot better. Can avoid that. That'd be even better. Gotta keep going this way. Please get out of there. We're at 50% fuel already, though, so... Here's the downside. Thank goodness. Okay. I think we're gonna be okay if we just dodge like this. No, we're not. Please hit that missile. Thank you. No longer dodge, sorry. Just gonna have to take these. I do need to rotate sides though. No. It did the same shot. Okay, well, this is gonna be a lot of damage, but. No! 10%, that's not good. I know numbers, and 10% is not very high. Did a lot better this time dodging correctly. Who knows, we might make this. We are like a shell of our current self. But this is what this hex turtle's for, right? We have 2% fuel. Oh boy. <laughs> they didn't go for the flares. <laughs> oh, look at that! 5,000 damage for an ammo explosion! Man, the Hex Turtle almost did it there, but... 
Okay, retry. I don't click these very quickly because I've accidentally uh, clicked the retreat button before. Two more tries, two more tries, okay. All right, so we're doing good. That is forever away. Maybe this is the right approach. Oh, damn your proc stuff. stuff. Look how much damage it did. My goodness. Okay, yeah, obviously we know what we need to do. We need to get close. We need to burn, and that's gonna burn fuel, but that's just the nature of it. Nice shot from them, unfortunately. But we know we have to be a little bit more careful about this stuff. My god, that armor piercing is just killing me. It's not where I want to be. Probably not the run. I have to say though, the implementation of the ammo in the middle of my campaign is really, uh, it does put a damper on things, doesn't it? Oh boy. Well, there's nothing on the right hand side that we need to worry about losing anymore. That's the good news. Just die. Well, this is definitely not going to work. Alright, let's restart this one. <laughs> Alright, good luck. We need to get close to them, so I need to find out where they are. Okay, there's one down here. I think this is our second to last run though, so no, this, this one did not go well. Alright, let's try it one more time. This is the last one. We gotta go with armor piercing, and I think we just gotta get lucky. Alright, go. We need to charge them. It's not the worst, though. Just keep pumping him. If these guys have the really, like, elite crew thing, we can do one more. Well, oh, it's, <laughs> they're not going to have a choice. <laughs> We have to find out the hard way. Okay, so this is truly the last time. Hex Turtle, you were so good to me, though. Oh, wow. That was lucky. This. Oh, I can't even aim. Wait, the guy's gonna hit him! Oh my gosh! Oh no way! I didn't hit that. I hit the. I hit the R key. I hit the R key. It turns out I'm gonna really need to remap these keys. I hit the R key to change over to my high explosive ammo because I saw he was getting rammed. I decided it wasn't worth wasting more AP. Will you give me one more try? They do. It's crazy. Okay, so we have one more try. That was the dream situation, too. Ah, uh, I need to remap this. Can I do it right away? Damn it. Some things the only about this game are just, they, they're so punishingly painful. Okay, one try. Here we go. We know what we need to do, because we were the most successful on the mission. We got very close. 
And even running out of ammo, it like running out of whatever uh, fuel doesn't matter. Uh, only matters if you survive that long. So let's just try to survive that long. Presumably his bridge is somewhere over there. We got it. Holy crap. The other one is to my right, duly noted. I'm trying to use this corpse as... Okay, we need to get close to this guy. don't have another opportunity at this, so we're going to keep going here. percent fuel. Oh, we don't have any guns left. We have no power. We have done a lot of damage. We are going down in the line of s in, in the service. Oh, we got it. We got two of them. Holy cow. We did all we could. But that will be the last of the Hex Turtles. I think I have to hit retreat here. So I will. Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we have a choice. So that's going to conclude this episode. Boy, what a bummer. A real bummer. Um, but that's also okay. We would have to rethink the design for the Hex Turtle. I think we could do better. I mean, we could do better if we knew that they weren't going to be using high explosive. I really like the design still. It's pretty, was it like 15,000? I think it's cheap enough to be even practical at this, but it's just not gonna be able to take on a strike group as it once was able to. So we'll have to rethink our plan a little bit. Probably use more air assets or, you know, invoke the nuclear option. It's definitely a possibility. But uh, yeah, that'll call this video to a close. Super disappointing episode, in my opinion. <sighs> super, super frustrating, disappointing. Ugh. But that's that's the way this... Uh, I think this game is very punishing. And I, I think not only is it that way, I think it's intended to be that way. Um, at least I've always gotten the impression that this game is uh, supposed to be a grueling experience. So that's what we're experiencing. I think the game is delivering. Until the next one, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.